Have you ever wondered how websites like YouTube allow users to upload videos and share them with the world? The process of uploading and storing large video files can be complex task, but one key technology that makes it possible is something called as pre-signed URL. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what pre-signed URLs are, how they work and how they are used to upload videos to websites like YouTube. So let's get started. A pre-signed URL is a special type of URL that allows someone to perform an action on a specific resource such as uploading a file to a server without needing to be authenticated. Essentially, it's a temporary link that grants someone access to a resource for a limited time. Pre-signed URLs are commonly used when you want to share access to a resource with someone else but don't want to give them your login credentials or have them log in with their own credentials. Instead you can generate a pre-signed URL that grants them temporary access to the resource. For example, when you want to share a file or upload a file to a cloud storage service like Amazon S3 or Google Cloud Storage, we usually have to authenticate ourselves and provide our credentials. This can be a problem when we want to share a file with someone else or allow an application to upload a file to our cloud storage without giving away our credentials. In such cases, we can use a pre-signed URL. A pre-signed URL is a URL that allows access to an object or a file in a cloud storage service for a limited period of time without requiring authentication. Now it is usually generated by the cloud storage provider and can be used to perform certain operations on the object or file such as uploading, downloading or deleting it. In this video, however, we will focus on the use of pre-signed URLs for uploading video files on YouTube. Let us break down this process. When a user wants to upload a video to YouTube, they first request a pre-signed URL from YouTube server. The pre-signed URL contains a set of instructions that the user can use to upload the video file. The server generates the pre-signed URL with the HTTP method parameter set to put, which means that the user can upload the video file to the URL using the HTTP put method. YouTube server generates the pre-signed URL and sends it back to the user. The pre-signed URL is a unique URL that is valid for the limited period of time, usually a few minutes. This means that the user must upload the video file to the URL within the specified time limit. Otherwise, the URL will expire and become invalid. Once the user receives the pre-signed URL, they can use it to upload the video file to YouTube server. The user can use any tool or application that supports HTTP port request to upload the video file. The pre-signed URL contains a set of instructions that specify the locations and format of the video file on YouTube server, as well as any other parameters that may be required. Now when the user uploads the video file using the pre-signed URL, YouTube server validates the URL to ensure that it is valid and has not expired. If the URL is valid, YouTube server saves the video file to a specified location on the server. Once the video file has been uploaded, YouTube server sends a response to the user to confirm that the video file has been uploaded successfully. The response may contain information about the uploaded video files such as the size, format and location. Pre-signed URLs work by generating a unique URL that includes a signature, which is a hash of the request and a secret access key. This signature is used to verify the authenticity of the request and ensures that only authorized users can access the resource. When the server receives a request, it checks the signature to ensure that the request is authentic and that the user is authorized to perform the requested action. If the signature is valid and the user is authorized, the server performs the requested action on the resource. If the signature is invalid or the user is not authorized, the server rejects the request and returns an error. Now there are several alternative options or solutions to using pre-signed URLs for securing file uploads or downloads and it all depends on the specific requirements of the system. Secured File Transfer Protocol or SFTP is a protocol for securely transferring files over a network. SFTP can be used to encrypt and authenticate file transfers between client and server. Role-Based Access Control or RBAC is a method of restricting access to a resource based on the roles and permissions of individual users within an organization. RBAC could be used to limit access to certain files or directories based on the user roles. In a system design interview, it is important to consider the specific requirements of the system and the trade-offs between different security solutions before making a recommendation. Pre-signed URLs are a powerful tool for allowing users to perform actions on resource without needing to be authenticated. So understanding pre-signed URLs is important for system design interviews because it allows the interviewer to assess the candidate's ability to design the system that handles secure data access. 
especially when dealing with the media files such as videos that need to be uploaded or downloaded securely.